hello guys hello everyone welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel i'm ashabi today guys i'm going to be answering a question with a pattern tutorial so um as you all can see um this is the red dress rihanna wore in ocean 8 and this dress was created by zach poser and i just wanted to um try this out could this be how zach poser achieved this dress let's see so i'm just going to draw out my own now <laughs> first i just did is to trace out my basic bodice pattern and my basic skirt pattern i just traced it out if you do not know how to draft a basic bodice and skirt pattern i have a tutorial on that check out the description of this video at the top right corner of your screen you'd see the link to that video and now i'm just actually marking out the dots transferring basically everything that was on the previous um pattern now i am marking out the empire length if you do not know how to get the empire length of your outfit please check out my video on how to shape the on the bust of a basic bodice pattern i'm also going to drop that link in the description of this video on the top right corner of your screen um that tutorial is actually very important to this video because this is um something that has to do with a bust here so well when you're done with that you just need to mark out the dot of the skirt pattern just going to do that the same way and just extend the line out now i just extended the length of the skirt pattern and then just mark out the curve at the edge of the side seam to blend it out and now i just got to cut out the curve that is going to be like the off shoulder and i'm just going to crease out the upper part of my dots to so now i have done the creasing and i'm just going to cut out we have actually achieved the bust here so i'm just going to cut that out to the end of the paper and then the same on all the parts the side seam i'm just going to cut that out because now we have like a penciled um pattern so i'm just going to like mark out the knee length because that's where i want the mermaid the flowy mermaid um dress to start from so i'm just going to like place this paper here and then extend the width by 10 centimeters i'm actually going to wear this to church so i do not want to look like a bride that's why i'm actually going to use 10 centimeters you could choose to extend it by as much centimeters as you like but obviously nothing less than seven centimeters if you want to do any form of exaggeration so um i'm just going to like tip that out and then do the same for the other side extend it by 10 centimeters too and of course if you're doing any form of exaggeration by now you should know that you must extend all the width by the same amount of centimeters or inches depending on what form of measurement you use so i'll be doing the same for you can see how that part looks i'll be doing the same for the middle and then i'm just going to tape that on the paper and then extend by 10 centimeters too because it has to be equal and oh i think i made it blue <laughs> so i'm just going to cut that one out now as you can see this is on one part only because this will be cut on fold the middle part will be cut on fold and it's going to appear on both sides so so i'm just going to label the pattern and just write in cut two piece side panel side seam i'm just going to write the direction how the stitch should go and then mark that out this is the center of front Aunt, and i'm just going to write out every single part now this is basically all about the first part of this video i'll be uploading the second part next week if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and share i love you all